It's over. We were only able to beat her because of you. This wasn't the conclusion I'd hoped for, even though I... <sighs> Never mind. It's over now. The important thing is that we won. Here, boy. A letter. An Imperial General asked me to give it to you. A letter? Let's see it. It looks like it's from Hubert, Edelgard's vassal. If you are reading this letter, that means I have perished. As Her Majesty would never surrender to another, I can only assume she has fallen as well. It greatly pains me to think of this coming to pass. That said, as the survivors, I must ask you to settle certain affairs in our stead. You must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark. I am sure you must recall Monica and Tomas. Their allies yet live. They hold deep resentment against the children of the goddess and the people of the world. And they are biding their time until they can exact revenge. If left to their own devices, it is certain they will eventually bring unimaginable calamity and suffering to the world. I detected their sorcery when you took Fort Mercius. I have deduced the location of their stronghold, Shambhala. You will find its whereabouts enclosed. There is no question that they are the enemies of everyone in Fodlan. Do not allow yourselves to forget that. Lastly, while I cannot say she is in good health, the Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. I have shared the location of the entrance to that secret chamber with the person to whom I have entrusted this letter. I believe that Her Majesty will be victorious. Even still, I must plan for her defeat as well. If you wish to lead this world, I challenge you to rise to the occasion and surpass my estimation of you. Such is your obligation as the victors. And the only fitting tribute to all that Lady Edelgard sacrificed. Hubert, to leave a letter like this behind, you were a better man than I believed you to be. So, Rhea is alive, and the fight isn't over yet. Those who slither in the dark. It sounds like Fodlan will never know peace unless we defeat them. The allies of Monica and Tomas, well, we knew about them already. I think it's safe to assume this is the same group who used Lysithia for their blood experiments. And they were also responsible for the javelins of light that destroyed the fortress. But who were these children of the goddess who they supposedly resent? There's just not enough information here. I don't suppose there's any chance that this is his idea of a prank. If so, wow, good one. Hubert, rather than writing a letter, you should have just told us before we fought. Right! What am I... Why? I think that's the point of the fifth route. That, like, that's going to be the one uh, where I'm people I'm sorry for doing the... Why? communicate and work together precisely it so i can understand why the empire may have been initially against you if they were accepting the aid and having the experiments i can only assume that the people that slither in the dark initially approached the empire and promised they probably them worked with edelgard's father they probably worked with her father they found a way to maybe make her have the two crests and stuff and she sought to overthrow him and destroy the people that slithers in the dark. But then why was she, as the Flame Emperor, still talking with them cordially? I have no idea. Why was she working with Maybe them? Maybe because her father? I, I don't know. And then everything falls apart in that end, and she's like, oh, you know. Well, so now... They're their enemies, but it's a mutual enemy, a mu enemy to anyone, and I can only assume that the children of the goddess are, I mean, humanity, but also the crest bearers. I'm sure we'll, we'd understand more once we play the Black Eagle route. Unfortunately, it does suck for how long this game is. Having to play all of the routes to understand the full story kind of sucks a little bit, because it's just like, there are glaring plot holes that you have to fill in by doing New Game Plus, but yeah, plus, if, plus. If Edelgard just explains... Why they were doing this, and if their mutual enemy was going to be this cult, then 
Yep. They didn't have to slay so many people and kill so many innocents for it. And uh, this is upsetting. But mm -hmm. we can ask Rhea about it. Right. We still don't know for sure if this letter is telling the truth. Let's go find out. You... You have come to save me. Is this... Is this a dream? I have longed to see you again. All this time. Is it truly you? Her ears are pointed. Claude. I can see you have grown into a reliable young man. Thank you for supporting the Professor. And for rescuing me. Surely the protection of the Goddess has... Wait, Rhea. What do you know about the children of the Goddess? Children of... What is this about? Forgive my bluntness. Someone from the Empire filled us in on a few things. I know it must be painful for us to ask you difficult questions after such an arduous confinement. But we have no choice. We must defeat a secret enemy. Those who slither in the dark. Do you know about them? Those who slither in the dark? Apparently, they resent the children of the goddess and the people of the world, and are planning something big, something terrible. They use blood for their wicked magic and are capable of dropping javelins of light from the sky, which are powerful enough to crush a fortress. If you can think of anything at all, please tell us now. We need to know as much as possible about these enemies in order to stop them. This is the critical moment that will determine whether or not Fodlin falls. Can't you see that the time for secrets has passed? It is true that there is a group of people who have slithered in the darkness and threatened the peace of Fodlin since ancient times. I am sure you have heard the stories of a man named Nemesis. The King of Liberation or the... Yeah, probably King of Either Liberation. one is going to... Re yeah, it's the same thing. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He's the hero to whom the goddess gave the sword of the creator. Nemesis was originally the leader of a group of bandits. He plundered the holy tomb and stole the remains of the progenitor god. When Nemesis appeared in Xanado some time later, he already wielded the sword of the creator. Wait a minute. Wait. Xanado, the Red Canyon. Oh, the Red Canyon. But yeah, how did he get the sword of the creator? Was it on the progenitor or was it made from their bones? Maybe all the weapons look like bones because they're made out of dragon oh boy. parts. According to legend, the goddess gifted him the sword to fight against the evil gods. I do not know how Nemesis obtained the sword, or why he appeared in Xanado, but he used that sword to massacre the people there, the children of the progenitor god. From their corpses, he gained even more power and brought war to Fodlin. That's completely different from what the legends tell us about Nemesis. A mere bandit like Nemesis would not have been capable of anything so monstrous on his own. Aha! So Nemesis had accomplices. And those accomplices must have been those who slither in the dark. They used Nemesis. And this time, they used the Imperial Army to once again bring war to Fodlan. I finally get it. And I even understand why Edelgard was associating with them. Just as they were trying to use the Empire, the Empire was trying to use them. Rhea, there's still a mountain of things I need to ask you, and I will, but I'll leave all of that for another day. You must be weak after living in confinement for so long. Please rest for a while. My friend, let's prepare for battle. We need to strike Shambhala as soon as possible. You must not allow Fodlin's bloody history, the Red Canyon tragedy, to repeat itself. Hmm. 
It occurs to me that we never got an answer from Rhea about the children of the goddess. Aren't they the people of Xanado? She did say that the people of the Red Canyon were the children of the progenitor god, so I suppose so. But those evil guys continued to plot their revenge even after the Red Canyon tragedy. Does that mean some of the children of the goddess or their descendants are still alive? Pretty much anyone that's... Well, would it be anyone that has a crest has some dragon blood in them? Or is it really just... It's the green-haired people. Rhea, Flame, me. Rhea? I mean, any of them would have been, right? Yep. We I mean, might as well say Rhea. Well, Wait, but if you say Flane, he might have something about... Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Let's go with Flane. Flane? If there's something special about her blood, we can't rule out the possibility. What are these children, anyway? And how are they connected to the goddess? Ah, I almost disappeared into the bottomless swamp that is my mind. I thought that after we defeated the Empire, I'd be able to see that sight I longed to see. What sight is that? I've told you about my dreams before. I want to break down the wall separating Fodlan from the outside world. The sight I want to see lies beyond that. Honestly, it's a trivial thing to fixate on. Just people, gathered in their towns, living out their lives together, sometimes laughing, sometimes fighting. But the people living there aren't just citizens of Fodlan. There are people from Dagda, Bridget, and even Dusker and Srang. There could be people who were born in Almira, or countries even farther east there, too. All of those people living together like it's nothing special at all. That's the sight I long to see. It's so simple, but still so far away. But this is no time for complaining. We need to focus on capturing Shambhala. Let's hurry up and gather everyone together. Do you have any further support conversations you need to get done with? So, oh, never mind. You mean to tell me that Fodlan will fall to ruin if we leave those guys be? Um, if this map is reliable, their base is just south of my family's territory. This story is a bit much to believe. And yet... It does ring true, somehow. Remember Monica, the one who killed Gerald? And the old man who was masquerading as Tomas? They were their allies. And the Flame Emperor and the Death Knight were merely their pawns. The people who were after my blood? They were also the ones who used me to conduct their blood experiments. As awful as it sounds, they're seemingly fond of using blood in their secret techniques. Ugh, that's really gross. I could never be friends with someone like that. I believe they were also responsible for the Javelin of Light that destroyed Fort Mercius. Hold up, boy. Do you really think that we can win against such powerful foes? I don't know. But we have to try, don't we? This is for Fodlan's future. We've really taken on something big. I wonder if our names will go down in history. My heroic name passed down to future generations? <laughs> A worthy cause indeed. They were trying to use the Imperial Army to plunge Fodlan into war, but we nipped that in the bud. Now we just need to tear out their roots, and I know we have what it takes to do it. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Blue Sea Moon. The City Without Light. Immediately following Edelgard's defeat, the Alliance Army discovers the existence of another adversary, a group operating behind the scenes within the Empire. Claude suspects that if the true enemy is left unchecked, disaster will befall Fodlan. And so he cuts short the celebration and the troops head for Shambhala, where this foe resides. Ooh. 
this may have been the saints and the stars or something, but there yeah, were probably. one one too many. There were six. So if you had the five of the main characters. Caspar's birthday party. Thanks. Flowers. Who wants to talk with you now? I, I oh. just don't get it. What is it, Claude? Those javelins of light. They were trying to use it to kill us at Fort Mercius, right? But then why not drop it on Garrig Mach? They must have known for a while that we were here. It is not that they chose to refrain, but rather that they were unable to do so. Rhea, how are you feeling? I am well enough. I cannot afford to rest while Fodlin is in danger. What do you mean when you say they couldn't drop a javelin of light here? Once, a very long time ago, a massive ball of light fell upon this monastery. However, that light mysteriously changed course in mid-air and landed in ALL instead. ALL, the Valley of Torment. So that's what the wreckage of those javelins of light looks like. The Holy Tomb is not only the location of the Progenitor God's eternal slumber, but also a sacred vessel for a power that repels evil. Supposedly, the Progenitor God built the Holy Tomb herself to protect her children from the evil light. So the children of the goddess gathered in Xanado because of its proximity to the monastery? But we've fought at distant locations many times. Despite that, the Javelins of Light only fell on Fort Mercius. In his letter, Hubert said that he detected their magic when the fort fell. In other words, because they used a Javelin of Light, Hubert was able to pinpoint the location of their base. So they didn't use it before then because they didn't want us to know where their base is? In any case, those javelins of light must be something they can't just use whenever they want. And they finally decided to use one at Mercius, where they were sure they'd be able to finish us off. It's only thanks to the whims of the Death Knight that we escaped with our lives. And no javelins of light have fallen since then. It's possible that the enemy hasn't yet realized that we've learned the location of their base. If so, their guard may be down, which makes this the perfect time for a surprise attack. I will accompany you. What? No, that would be far too dangerous. Your long confinement weakened you greatly, did it not? Those people have opposed us since ancient times. I wish to learn the truth about them for myself. I... I understand. I will not stop you, but please take care not to overexert yourself. We don't know exactly what we're up against here, but having you around is very reassuring, Rhea. Let's prepare to strike at Shambhala before they make their next move. Any support conversations? And full. Oh. I'll let you take charge on this. So shall, we should probably also ask. Do we want to just push through and finish this? Hmm, I don't know. Because we could probably take another hour. Is it just one more mission? Two. Dude. Two battles, I think. It depends. It's pretty late. It is. I'll let you do this. I gotta go wash my hands so we can decide. Well, I guess I gotta go to the bathroom. That's the real answer. Yep. Raphael and Marianne. Marianne! Come here! Quick! Oh! W what's wrong, Raphael? It's that bird you were talking to! I just found him! See? Right there on the lower branch! That's gotta be him! But he looks a little sad for some reason. You're right. Um, do you mind if I handle this? Hello there, Mr. Bird. How do you do? Hmm. Yes, I see. I see. So your food supply is... Food? I got it! I completely understand. I have seen more people and birds foraging for berries lately. It would be ideal if those berries were growing in another forest nearby. Then you wouldn't have to. Are you hungry, Mr. Bird? I got just what you need! Are those... bugs? Yuck! 
Look at him go. He's loving it. He's gonna get so big and strong after this. That was... disgusting. But how did you know he was hungry? I could tell by looking at him. He looked hungry and weak. More importantly, I saw what you did. That bird wasn't speaking human, so you gotta understand birdies. I knew it! Oh, about that. I'm sorry, Raphael, but I need to tell you the truth. I can sort of understand what animals are thinking when I look at them, but I can't speak to them. I'm sorry for leading you on. Oh, I see. What about me, then? Can you tell what I'm thinking when you look at me? I, um... Uh, no, Raphael. I can't. Well, of course not. You're not even looking at me. You gotta look at my eyes. Uh, nope, still can't do it. Uh, I guess I just gotta tell you. I'm thinking it would be nice if you talked to me the way you talk to animals. What do you mean? Whenever you talk to animals, you seem happy and friendly. I just wish you'd talk to me like that, too. I'm so sorry, Raphael. I didn't know. I... What if I tried this? Cheep, cheep, cheery, choo, choo, doo! What the... <laughs> Whoa! I've never heard you laugh before. I should have talked to you and birdies sooner. Cheep, chira, cheep, li, woo, teedle, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that one. I said you gotta eat bugs to grow big and strong, just like Mr. Bird. Ah, I think I'll have to pass. Aww. Raphael's a gem. Which is why I tried so hard to get his support conversations with freaking everyone. Oh, so she can talk with Sedith. Oh, it's Sedith. I'd better slip away before he... Ah, I see you are indulging in a bit of reading. You are fond of books, I take it? Yes, reading's one of my favorite pastimes. I was just finishing up, actually, so I think I'll... That is most fortuitous. Um, fortuitous? How do you figure? Come with me. I have a story to share with you. Once upon a time, deep in the cold mountains, there lived a lazy fox and an industrious squirrel. The squirrel worked tirelessly all day long, while the fox did nothing but lounge around and play. When autumn came, the squirrel hurriedly gathered up acorns for the winter. But the fox continued to play without a care. A biting it's winter the fell the upon the land. The mountains, caked in snow, concealed all nourishment from sight. The hungry fox went to the squirrel's dwelling, but the squirrel had locked up tight and gone to sleep. Every so often, the squirrel would wake, enjoy a nibble of an acorn, and then return to an easy slumber. The fox, on the other hand, with nowhere else to turn, was forced to scrounge for food in the bitter cold of the forest. Forlorn and hungry, he wandered in solitude all through the winter, until spring came once more. And so it is to this very day that foxes are denied the comforts of hibernation. Ah, I really learned something about foxes. <laughs> I read lots of fairy tales like that when I was little. But the lazy fox and the industrious squirrel, huh? That one I don't think I've heard before. That is not surprising, considering I wrote it. Oh, you wrote it? I did. When Flane was young, she loved fairy tales more than anything. I would read them to her often. This one, however, is a more recent creation. I wrote it for the benefit of the children in the monastery. So, what do you think? I'm curious to hear what sort of impression it made on you. It's so cute! You, you found it to be cute? I can just see it now. You writing fairy tales for your little sister. That's just the cutest thing. Honestly, to me, you usually come across as stern and overly perceptive. But now I know you have a sweet side, too. I feel like I'm seeing you in a whole new light. That is not what I was hoping to hear. Uh... 
It was clearly the the tale of the grasshopper and the ant. The ant was the industrious one saving food for the winter, and the grasshopper was like, I'm gonna lay around all day without a care in the world. And then he starved. Who can Leone speak with? I don't... I don't know if I want that. Uh, go up. It's probably fine. She'll probably end up A rank with Claude. I mean, she is... We our... might as well see it. Okay. Today was a great day for fishing, wasn't it? It was, though I did lose to you in numbers. You won on size, though. Some of these fish are huge. And it was you who caught this beauty. It is a lovely specimen. The fins are rather like wings, and the scales are reminiscent of a lustrous rainbow. But I have heard this type of fish does not taste good. It's a little bland, but it's not bad. You just need to fry it in oil to bring the flavor out. There are lots of little bones, too, so you need to be careful eating it. You truly are an expert, Leone. I would be delighted if you would cook for us again. Happily. You know, once this war's over, I'll be able to make even more elaborate dishes. I'm sure none of it will compare to your wife's cooking, though. Entirely different styles. I very much look forward to seeing what you come up with. Yet another reason to end this war swiftly. <laughs> I'm flattered, but that doesn't seem like a good motivation to fight. On the contrary, it is better than the usual reasons. In the heat of battle, it is little details like a friend's cooking that I reach for to find my courage. I have to say, I didn't expect that from you. You're always so serious. But I really value our fishing time, too. With all the chaos, it's great to have a way to relax. I hope there will come a time when we can fish like this without worry, to our heart's content. Hope's not enough. We need to build that future with our own hands. Agreed. But even after that is done, you had better not rest idle. I've grown quite fond of your cooking. <laughs> Don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from. Speaking of, time to handle today's haul. Let me lend you a hand. Anyone else? Who can Plain speak with? Well, said it. <laughs> Let's see what she's up to. Flame. Here to pester me, brother? No. I think I'm the one who ought to be pestered. Regardless of what I say to you, it is not as though it has any effect in reducing your worry over me. That is true. No matter where you are, and no matter what you're doing, I will always worry. But that's only because I treasure you so very much. Please understand, I'm not trying to hurt you. Of that I am well aware. I am touched that you care so deeply. When I think of it, it is my own fault that you have become so overprotective. I cannot blame you. No, the fault is entirely mine. You were still so young. I placed far too much strain on you, and our lack of resources was no excuse. Worse, I failed to watch you during the battle. Your mother, too. We... lost her because of me. Afterward, it broke my heart to see how much you would need to rest just to survive. I swore that I would dedicate every moment remaining in my life to your protection. Ever since then, I have been afraid of falling asleep. My fear of sleeping is outmatched only by my fear of spending my life alone. Even if it cannot last, I want to live among my peers as one of them, as an ordinary person, similar to how you and Mother coexisted with your own comrades back then, fighting side by side. Quite right. I know you must leave the nest someday. No matter how many ages our lives may span, I know that's the way of it. Father... Don't. Nobody is listening, Father. Let me address you as such just this once. I have valued the quiet days you and I have spent alone together, but I am no longer a child. Just as you and Mother met one another, and eventually I was brought into the world, 
I... I know. Please, no more. No matter what happens, you are my daughter. It gives me great joy to see you grow. But please, at least until this war is over, let me continue to worry. You're the most precious person in my life. I can't bear the thought of losing you. It seems I have no choice in the matter. I shall allow you to worry about me enough for yourself and mother both. But only that much and no more, my dear Father Keyhole. Thank you, Sethleen. No. Who else can set a talk with? Ingrid, Hanneman. I mean, do you want to do the Hanneman conversation? Sure. I've never seen them interact. Sure. I know you are there, Hanneman. Well, uh, to say, are those Crest documents? Ah, Seth, have you finally decided to cooperate with my research? Absolutely not. For 21 years I have refused your requests. I have no intention of changing my mind. But I will lend you these documents I have found, on the condition that you stop following me. I am quite tempted by the offer, but your cooperation would be of much greater value. Your crest, the major crest of Keyhole, is so rare. As far as I am aware, Seth, you are the only person ever confirmed to bear that particular crest. How did you come to possess it? My answer is the same as every other time you have asked. I do not know. I was born a commoner, with no connections to any crests. There are no records of my lineage. Oh, please. That thin explanation could never discourage me. You must understand, I will dig until I find the truth, no matter how long it takes. You are wasting your time. I cannot give you the answers you seek. Even if you were to discover the reason why I bear the major crest of Keyhole, I doubt it would satisfy you. That is for me alone to decide. And even if you are correct, that confirmation itself would be a valuable discovery. Such is the way of research, yes? I'm afraid I cannot attest to that. I'm no scholar. In any case, if you really have no need for the documents, you will not mind if I dispose of them. Let's not do anything hasty now. I will leave you alone, for now. But I am taking these documents with me. Once I complete my research on these papers, It'll be your turn, Seteth. I will learn the truth of your crest. It is a pointless endeavor. You will learn nothing from me, no matter how much you try. <sighs> Perhaps his stubborn nature is one of the effects of his crest. Now that would be an interesting discovery. The first stage of my research will be to decipher his personality. <laughs> well, we know the truth of all that. Oh, they're gonna get to A1? Yep. Hey. We don't need to have this conversation. You don't know what I was going to say. Something about our vastly different approaches to life? Fine then. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> Actually, really, I. <laughs> Sorry, you go first. I was gonna say I'd hear you out. Okay, let's talk about it. I will be faithful to Lady Rhea until I die. If I had to choose between you and her, I would choose her every time. I assume that disqualifies me from being your partner. Between you and Rhea, I'd choose you. But between you and me, I'd choose me. That probably disqualifies me from being your partner, too. Well, no. I'm quite fond of being alive. I don't intend to sacrifice my life, either. If it came down to you or me, I'd choose... Huh. 
What's wrong? Nothing. You're not like the rest of the knights. Maybe someday you'll have to take a path that diverges from ours. What if we went to war with your country? <sighs> it is a possibility. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking like that. The future is one of the great mysteries of life. We can worry about it when the time comes. But until our paths diverge, you're my partner. And I couldn't ask for a better one. You got that right. I'm the best there is. <laughs> Let's see, we have Ingrid. She can talk with Sedith. I just, I don't care. We don't we'll, care at we'll this point. Add that one to the skip list. Here, can I have the controller back? Sure. Okay. At this point, though, I don't know. What time is it? Do you want to just save the next session for Ingrid. the end of the game? Uh, or... I am super torn on this because on one hand, we could probably get it done pretty quick. Comparatively. Mm -hmm. The main reason why it's tempting to me Plow is, through. is because I would very much like to be free. To be free, to be unchained, have our shackles broken once and for all. Like, I realize that's the option that means we're going to stay up until ungodly o'clock, but uh have a reason to explore. I guess we'll just do this. Wait, no. You're not wearing that getup. It has the silly hat. <laughs> Never. I just, I don't know which is worse. Silly hat or cloak. I don't mind the, the sleeves billowing in the wind. But like, God, being free of this game, at least for a little while, would make a difference for me. I mean, you'll have to spend weeks editing it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you two, I get to sit down and enjoy this tasty meal. A meal you can eat while listening to Hilda praise you is a gift all its own. Right, Teach? Okay. Uh, the other question I have, Shell, is... Shall we S-rank Flame? I don't know. It's one of... I want to see, like, who is closest to her and who will Claude end up with and... Okay, so... Flane's closest to Claude. But Claude was closest to Hilda. Or Leone. Claude is closest to Leone. And then Hilda was closest to Raphael. Yeah, Raphael and Hilda are, are right up in there. So, if we ended things as they are now, Flane would likely just be with Dad and all of the dragon kin. Because I don't really... I don't really see our character romancing any of the other characters. Nope. I mean, the main thing is just like, I'm assuming our... Uh... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Couldn't you talk Rhea with this? The long confinement took its oh. toll on her health. Truthfully, she is in no shape to be exerting herself at all, to say nothing of a military expedition. But she's sleeping. Don't wake her up. To make mm -hmm. matters worse, we are now facing a very old enemy. One that has conspired against us since time out of mind. Please proceed with caution. I have a bad feeling. This experience. I don't know, it depends. Because. A long time ago, Professor, we did promise Flame at the Tower that we would be with her always, but. At the same time, 
you might be related. Well, and also, the thing is, if you S rank with Sothis, at the same time, is she just gonna haunt your brain? Is what's the deal with her? I'm not sure. Or your mind? I, I thought you were one with Sothis. Maybe the folks we're fighting next aren't normal humans, are they? It's that group who caused the Javelin of Light to fall, right? It just doesn't seem like something a human mm. is capable of. I'm not prone to flinching, but I don't feel great about any of this. A mysterious organization, slithering in the d It appears these fiends have, after the fall of End, that said, I would keep an eye on Edelgard's uncle, Lord Arundel. Something about him sits ill with me. Lord Arundel, we haven't heard of him for a while. And we've only okay. ever heard his name, never seen him. Unless Arundel is the creepy guy that looks like Nemesis. That popped up here and there and had experimented on her. I'm unsure. Arundel could be the the evil nemesis guy, or the one who looks like Nemesis. Did you save beforehand? Ah. Until after the war ends. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we don't have to make any decisions now. Phew. Let's go to Flane. Professor. Uh, let's see. I also want to find, uh, where, where is Flame? Here? No. There she is. I am so glad that Rhea is unharmed. My brother continues to worry about her, however. Of course, I am worried myself. I cannot imagine being in that situation while in such a state. She should just leave things to you and Claude and get the rest she needs. Oh. Oh, that's who Arundel is. Hmm? Remember the dude with the mustache and the dark hair that we met in, like, the very... What we saw in the very beginning of the game? Talking to the Flame Emperor? It was, like, a, uh, cut aside, and it was Flame Emperor. Oh, that's the uncle. I for... The guy with the black hair? Yeah. Okay, then. Professor. Interesting. We crushed the Empire at long last, but there's no time to bask in our victory. We must prepare for the coming battle. We knew there was a secret group behind the Imperial Army all this time. Now we have a chance to make the first move against them. We have Hubert to thank for that. It's also thanks to him that we were able to rescue Rhea. I still have plenty of questions I'd like to ask her. We should let her rest. Sadly, I agree. After we return from the next battle, we'll ask her all of our burning questions. Rhea is the only one who gets a break, though. Everyone else had better start preparing for battle. One thing of note. The flame keeps saying that she How dislikes about? sleep and that she's been As asleep for so long. She was the injured few, at the perhaps. end of the battle a thousand years ago, so she's been asleep all this time. Very potentially. There was Whereas Sedith had largely been awake. Possibly, yeah. I have a thought. I'm sure the captain is. That's an interesting we thought. Maybe the tombs did house them for a while while they slept, but then when they were ready to emerge, they Professor. almost like vampires. They stopped their long hibernation. Ah. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Well. Is... Anyway, oh, I can't end exploration until I finish with all my activity points. Really? Weird. Maybe. Okay, Leonie, teach me your meaningless These ways. Are this is my real opportunity. No. Advanced skills teach me about lances, which I never use. Who's here? She looks in Sylvain. That's that's a good, that's a good pair to teach about? me about things that I don't care this for. This one might be over. I don't know when. <laughs> Warm and peace. Teach me about horses. You don't actually have to use points. Oh. All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh. The boar. War may Oops. and peace. Wait, we never figured out what happened to I do. I thought that after the Empire yeah. fell, the boar might finally be avenged. 
But something dark is certainly lurking in the shadows. An organization behind the Empire. We'll have to take care of them if the boar... If Dimitri is to rest in peace. Okay. So... Let's end there. So we're just gonna sleep our way through this month, unsurprisingly. Mm-hmm. I have a qu oh, painting. Uh, let's see. New piece for kids. Woodland creatures. I see. Thank you. I would have said a swamp monster. Professor. Way to traumatize them. Hey. Some of the favorite comic books that my father had were ones featuring a swamp monster. Yeah, well... The Madden thing. It was just so peculiar looking. I remember... Rather than humans in skin-tight suits. <sighs> uh, Are you really, ready, partner? He was unique when it comes to, to Marvel superheroes. No, not the swamp thing. The man thing. I've got the gist of it now. I'll try to put this. It's really Can amusing this? how there are so many Marvel and DC characters that line up. Oh, Saint Cecilia Day. Question is: Is it flame? No, it's not flame. Why is it not flame? Am I doing all right? I am ever so grateful. Oh, have we already looped around to... Yeah, we have looped around to Plain Birthday. Uh, let's see. An armory blacksmith. Do we care? We might as well. Oh, now. Expensive. Oh. Worth it. I was just thinking about the long sleep, right? Yeah. So, maybe you were never really... Born to Gerald's. Wait a minute. I'm trying to think here. There are two potential origins for you. Either Rhea did have a daughter, and she fell in love with Gerald, and they had you, and because you're half dragon, technically you were blessed and became a full dragon, or at least you acquired enough. You ceased to be a human with a human span and you gain the ability to, to be fall asleep and become a dragon or the reason why you have no memory of your past is because they revived you and you were just brainwashed into thinking that you were gerald's kid what do you think i don't know Sorry, I'm just very quickly upgrading uh, some of my, like, basic equipment. Let me get a killer lance. This guy doesn't really use lances that much, but whatever. Let's see. I just figured my, my main go-to characters might as well be using... Their absolute best. Or some equivalency therein. There is a train that has been tooting for a long time. Yeah, it's time. just hanging out there tooting away. Unless they're being extra diligent about tooting at every single intersection. Possibly. I think that many of the trains around here have been lax about that. Technically, at every intersection, they're supposed to go... This is working two. out. Another gain. Professor. Oh. Jasper wants to speak with you. Oh. Do you have a minute, Professor? No. Oh. <laughs> you skipped it? I'm tired. We can watch it later. I'm just collecting the cutscenes. That went fine. Oh. 
Let's put it to the test. Let's I'm see. getting the hang of all that work was. I always was a quick. Wander is still alive. I wish to be free. I wish to be free. <laughs> Oh, people in chat are still wondering why you're awake at this hour. Well, some people that went to bed have a couple up. hours into the stream, because we've been going for 11 hours. This isn't healthy for us. It isn't. It can't possibly Professor? be. How are we even still functional? Uh, the desire for freedom. We, we often do this at the tail end of Thanks. games. Yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those where it's like, luckily, it does not require a whole lot of mental acuity, so we can just kind of bang it out and just be like, freedom. But quite quite truthfully, playing this game An every single night has actually been detrimental to our ability to sleep, our ability to focus on other tasks, and this should be suitable. And other this will be help creative or game related ventures. It's been hmm. And it's not because we're rearing to get back to it. It's because we've been playing it so long and want to see the plot concluded. More cards for my wow. this should be suitable. This is working Maybe out. Maybe I should have really been doing getting... some seminars even... this entire time. That's apparently a lot of EXP. Oh well. Wait, you've never done a seminar? Uh not many of them. But it turns out if the main character's seminar ability is like I'm gonna turn this up, by the way, because uh, voices oh, and sound uh, voices are tied to sound effects. Yeah, so and we're gonna hear some more like clashing, and eh, it'll be fine. All right, final save. Okay, don't go, don't progress. Though the flame of war is quenched, its embers endure. You travel deep into an under underground to confront those who slither in the dark and bring. Lasting peace to Fodlin. Well, Fodlin. So how far Fodland. ahead is this compared to the YouTube series? This is... 70 hours. This is the end. Or near the end. Oh, boy. Relying on a map entrusted to them by Hubert, the Alliance Army sets their sights on the base belonging to those who slither in the dark. Beyond its entrance, they are met by a sprawling underground city. Incredible! Who knew that there was such a vast space beneath the ground? It's like an underground city. I've never seen buildings like these before. It's like an ancient ruin, but not just because of its appearance. I don't recall ever seeing architecture like this. It is magnificent Aliens. in a sense, but I could hardly call it beautiful. Even the air feels stagnant. In any case, it seems like we need to go deeper. Let's look around and see if we can find some stairs. Something on your mind? No. It is simply... We must defeat those who slither in the dark, no matter what happens. But if my conjecture is correct, the one who they will wish to kill the most... is you, dear child. Why me? They are aware that you can use the sword of the Creator. Your body houses the same power they once bestowed upon Nemesis. That is why I fear for you. That's not much to go on. Perhaps. Please forgive my errant thoughts. Once this battle is over, I will explain everything. I will tell you all I know about who you really are. Let's just hope she doesn't get killed before she can impart that information on us. 
Hmm. What do you think? I want to be free. <laughs> I think I like long games like this, because it is kind of fun to sit down with you and just, like, jam something out. But, like... Hi. Okay, so let's take a look at this map. Very futuristic. Elon. Ever heard of Whoa. it? Whoa! Holy crap, Golems? this is big. or stairs or okay so I see a treasure chest I'm not sure how much I care I feel like I should okay there's two treasure chests two treasure chests total I guess we can check yeah two treasure chests yep two chests and a locked room oh Yes, yeah, so we need a door key to get in there. Okay, so units. So, let's take off Marianne. Let's bring back Sedith. Let's give her Shamir. Because the, theirs is the only conversation I care about at this point. Everything else is just mostly bonus. Here's Dorothy and Petra. Um... I'm gonna get up and walk a little bit. Yep. If we really have been sitting here for... I mean, that's why I was getting up, walking around, and doing whatever during the well, support long, conversations. If, if this has been up for 11 hours. How long have you been streaming prior? Seven. No, like, so we've been streaming together, so... Yeah. But again, if you think about it, people who do marathons of, say, Star Wars or... The extended editions of Lord of the Rings probably sit through just as long a, a spree mm -hmm. of films. Let's see, who did we end up romancing? Mm, we don't know yet. Where's Ash? Let's see, that's a pretty good mix. Got a chest there and a locked door. Inventory items. Zithia. Okay. We could just give her a master key, but that'd be boring. be fine. Wow, those big golem things look ridiculous. For thousands of years, we have existed underground, living on only that we might someday see our vengeance realized. Here and now, that vengeance is finally within our grasp. There is but one thing left to do. Destroy them! Damn those who stand with that arrogant goddess to oblivion, away from the world of the living! Now is the time. Remove the binding spell of Titanus. Let their metal bodies be drenched in blood! Hey, what are those big... things? Demonic beasts? No, I think not. They appear to have no will of their own. Someone must be controlling them. Initiate all that remain. We must advance our preparations. What's my strategy? A lot of doors there. My orders? Inconvenient. Oh well. Not dying here. All right, probably should have gotten some goddess rings on some of these characters. Oh well. What do we got? Shall we? 
let's we advance the wall. Because we've got this guy who who has something interesting. We should probably have Seth go, go off that well. direction. He really is just dubstep. Wow. Leave it to me. I was not expecting creepy dubstep. But hey, what well, we're here. I'll cut okay. through. X is going up that direction, so we don't need to worry about it as much. I'll crush them all. More fighting. Attack Meteor. How tough are these buggers? Eh, they're not that tough. Oh, you've already started to fight? Yep. Uh, Thales was yelling That's about right. how they've been underground for a stupidly long time. Wait, Thales? Is he the nemesis looking guy? Yeah. Alright. How long have they been underground? A thousand years? Yeah, I think so. All for their revenge. Let's make this quick. I will not die. I do a lot of damage. Let go very far into that chest. It's a locked door. This gum has been activated. Increase output gradually, depending on the amount of magical energy charged. I don't care if we destroy Shambhala, so long as our goals are fulfilled. Wow. It looks like they all possess very pale skin. Are they just subterranean species, or...? Might be. Are they beast people? I'd have to take this a little bit more seriously. Sorry, but I must. Okay, let's come back. Probably shouldn't be just swinging around the sort of creator like this. <laughs> Didn't mean to have it out, but oh well. Yeah, they're they're pretty fast. Like this is definitely a little bit on the harder scale of things. That's should be fine. Don't get used to this. But we're gonna be taking some damage. Oh, let's get rid of the training bow. I liked the idea of the of Yeah, hey, you're right about the dubstep. Yep. All cannot be cross. How can we get down there then? I don't know. It's about the immediate rush. For Gerald! Or can you get out of here, rusted axe? Oh right, she had random garbage in her inventory that I should probably get rid of. Bo, Zol Bo Zoltan. Cool. Oh. I can't die yet. Okay, that's what Nosferatu is. Was she gravely wounded? Oh. Was she silenced? That's rough. Yeah, she got she got hit by an enemy caster who did a lot of damage to her. And apparently she got muted in the process. Mm -hmm. Bit of a problem. Well, it looks like you're taking care of the caster now, correct? Yep. Yeah, I'm not I'm not actually too worried about this. Uh let's get rid of the iron sword. Let's make this quick. Let's assist 
shield. Does the red triangle pop up wherever someone's died, or is that just an arrow? Uh, I think that's just to kind of tell you you can go that direction. Ah. Can't afford to lose. Yeah, that's true. Right. Oh, there's a door there. Yep. Technically, could save these door keys, but eh. Let's just rally him. Huh. I realized how low his potential defense is. Too easy. Ooh, that's an interesting attack. That's a big thing, yeah. Titanus. Or tight anus. Hopefully Titanus. They are cool looking though. I almost wish we had been, we had spent more of this game fighting those who slither in the dark, because some of these designs are downright rad. Mm-hmm. Let's get moving. It really seems like this should have been a story in three parts. Yeah. Instead of like last mission, it's like, oh right, the villains. Uh Because it most definitely is. Oh, right, the villains! Because uh. I could understand the first part is about the academy and when everyone's kids and such. But then maybe the betrayal by the Empire. And then the second part would be unifying the kingdoms, the Empire admitting that they were wrong and that they had been manipulated by these people. And then a third act where everyone is coming for these guys. Well, I think that third act is actually, uh, wow, 1% crit chance, and he gets it. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's Seraphim. That's Seraphim and him, but... Yeah, for Black Eagle, Eagle, Blue Lines, and the Church, you never fight those who slither in the dark post time skip. That's very strange. What? Really? And in Blue Lines, you deal with fails while he is disguised as a just totally regular dude. I that really does imply that there's probably going to be a fifth route here. I'm surprised that the Golden Deer just. Can? Uh, like... I guess the Golden Deer can fight? Let's see. That's fine. Well, that helps. Well, it's a circumstance in which you destroy Edelgard, but... I fight. In order to unify everyone, there's the person... Uh, because Dimitri's goals just seem to end with Edelgard's death. Yeah. He might not have cared to investigate it won't what these vain. people were. Oh, I see. That's what those room looking places are. Well, that's a malfunctioned door. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't get through that. Not a big deal. Gotta have something better than the training axe. Training axe plus. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. Fortified, nobody's terribly wounded. Oh, that, so thing, that thing is what's it's a laser. shooting at me. Whoa, a ground slam. Hmm. Owie. 
Ouch. Watch and learn. We'll be fine. This Yay, lethality. Assassin mage. Very <laughs> effective. Predicted. I must lead them well. Yeah, they've got a lot of wizards just kind of rolling around here. Are they being reinforced, or are the units that are currently on the board the ones that you have to defeat? Uh, I haven't seen any reinforcements roll in, so I think this is pretty much it. Fistmen. It's fine. Guess I have no <sighs> Fighting wears me out. Good form. Probably should have brought more healers along. Fortunately, they got slow. Well, also, out. everyone is separated at the moment, too, which can't help. I'm really curious about what's inside what's this. What's in this room? Hi! Oh, extra foes. Great. Gambit? No, that, that doesn't do me any good. Oh. Reasonable chance. Ah, nice. Right, I probably should have grabbed, uh, given him his, his holy relic weapon. Just as expected. Thanks. Remember if I have a door key on that one. Has the door key? That seems to be none of them. Set it? No? Oh, well, alright. Ash will just walk up there, I guess. Start walking back. I wonder if these people were as technologically advanced as they were a thousand years ago or if they built all this up as an aid for them and their existence underground I don't know We don't actually need to do Seraphim. We can just take this guy out with pretty much... Oh, Seraphim. That's fine. Or their origins were always alien in nature. So who knows? Unless what? they... Unless they were an ancient civilization. I mean, my assumption is probably ancient civilization. But they don't seem affiliated with the dragons. It was meant to yeah! Be. Honestly, this is where it gets kind of murky for me. Unless it was a situation where they were the predominant species, they had a lot of tech and such, but then some goddess comes upon the scene and blesses some of the humans and makes them into these immortal dragon beings. But then, those that slither in the dark, Gotta use your head sometimes. they use a ton of, uh, this is all technology, but they use a ton of magic, but they seem to rely on extracting crests from people in order to use it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So is it that they themselves aren't versed in magic or crest abilities, but they have the technology to Extracted unless, from others. Unless it's wildly One, crazy two, that these these were just people that raided Sothis's tomb, managed to pick up a whole bunch of magitech, and then built this over the last thousand years in order just to kill her. Mm-hmm. And is it they be is it because they discovered 
that her true identity was a dragon and everyone else was... Or Nemesis is just an asshole. Mm -hmm. He was just a common bandit that they gave the weapon to. But he or might have he... stolen it. Well, right. He had stolen it supposedly from the tomb, but... yourself killed. Amazing. We'll have to see. Now, where was the main guy in all this? Through that final door? Uh, yeah. Those awful weapons have been stopped. They were being controlled from that facility. Okay, it works out. Uh, oh, the lasers. Okay. It's either the lasers or these things, probably. Nah, that seems to be up and running. Probably the... Yeah, but it's it's got a debuff. Mm. have anything else useful that direction, so I'm just going to go this way. In retrospect, I could have just warped somebody somewhere crazy. Good This reminds me of the music from the Team Rocket headquarters and such. It... yeah. of those big things. Someone must be controlling them from somewhere nearby. Hmm. That facility over there looks fishy. I thought I caught sight of some suspicious movement. Mm -hmm. nice try. Thank you, Klongle. At least these things got significantly easier. Okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, good. Doesn't waste any time. Where the heck are they going? Oh, well, you know what? Can't question it. Yeah, I don't know. Did you have anyone in that direction? Uh, Dorothy yeah. And Co? Yeah, that's where like Lysithia and company are. Right. Now, were they still in dire straits, or did you replenish their health? Uh, Lysithia and company? No, they're doing fine. Bonking away at this guy. It's gonna take a while, but I might as well get him down. Mm -hmm. You keep going this way. Uh, let's see. I still have a hand axe, yeah? Get him, Seth. I believe in you. Does count as a ranged weapon. Hey. Nothing personal. Nobody else stands in the danger zone. Be fine. Uh, you know what? I have a meteor. Might as well just meteor him down. Mm -hmm. It could go a bit faster. Have flame go that way. Okay. Best has a sort of Zoltan. But yeah, it's it's my base assumption that uh, chances are this civilization is just um just knows the guy. Oh, uh, this civilization die. is just Nemesis's like the remains of his oh I his see Kadra. the loyalists. Mm-hmm. Might have to run away. I guess X and Flame can heal. 
mainly just heal people if it's the issue. I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any immediate healers. Let's see. At least we can kill this guy. Mm -hmm. Just need to pick a better weapon. Yeah, that should do it. There we, there we go. go. There is the critical we need. We're all desperate, aren't we? I'm impressed. I'll try. She also has her family's weapon too. Yep, but I didn't bring it with for this one. Mm-hmm. Be smart or I'm finished. Okay, boss still can't move. Yeah, Punch through. Awesome. Now's the time. Because yeah, what I want to do is distract them towards Dude, Raphael. Remember how at the beginning of this, I commented that Raphael had kind of a ridiculous ability and I really liked the idea of it? Mm -hmm. It's finally come into its own. <laughs> yeah, I guess What's it's not ability? as amazing as it could have been. Um, but he's got a 20% chance to just heal like a decent chunk of his health every ah. round. Just naturally. Okay. There we go. Healer's almost here. Picker. Almost there. Oh, there's also another central facility? Yeah, I don't mm. know. If, I think I just have to kill the commander. Well, I think it's that right this there. This is where we're going into next. Oh, I see. Maybe not, though. There is an actual door there. Mm-hmm. Shylong. Great knight. We have not seen many of those. It just looks like, oh, that isn't a door. Is that just a an end? It's not a rear entrance, correct? No, it's just one of the facilities. Uh, summoning more Titanuses. Uh, Titanus, probably Titanus, not Titanus, <laughs> not Titanus. Yeah. I know. I know. Thunderbrand. Come on, crit him. There we go. That was a bit wasteful, but that's fine. I fight. I could learn from you. Thor. Oh, it opens up both. Great. Yep. Into this mess. Destiny Scythia should be fine. Happy. We're getting some good stat growths. No some nah. Wind, wind. Child's play. Operating under the assumption. Let's try something. That worked out. It's you thought that they were going to attack oh, Hilda? There's another one. Oh. Are they spawning? Yeah, more spawn until I take out those control facilities. Mm -hmm. Get Hilda back. Yep. That's a training bow. Actually, a training bow is fine here. Don't want that leader come juggernauting down towards me, because mm -hmm. that would hurt a lot. Ah, great! There and because he strikes so many times, he's able to whittle him down. Yep, that's why I like gauntlets so much in this game. Originally, they were kind of a bit iffy. Let's see. Actually, over here, convoy, take my door key. Take my random training axe. Give me the good stuff. Axe. 
Well, it's Fry Google. And you know what? I'm gonna store the Hexlock. The that shield. What Is there better shield? Zero shield. Ooh, nice. As monster, I mean that's really good, but not for her. Maybe. That just seems like the kind of thing I should put on somebody with a. Uh, I was hoping I had another goddess shield. Because, yeah, the Saros shield is something I should put on somebody else. Well, nope, we're putting it on her. Anyway, attack. Amber? No. Fry Kugel? Fry Kugel! <laughs> wow. The goddess shield does not look nearly as cool as I was hoping it would be. Maybe it's just a silver shield with Saros' symbol on it. Yeah, but I was expecting something a little bit more bulwarkish. Let's see, killer bow. Killer bow. So close. My moment has there we go. Isn't that shield crest restricted? Nope. Now, that one wasn't a legendary Saros weapon. No. Ash gets to help fight somebody. Bob Zoltan. With what? Bob Zoltan. Ah, great. Bias. That's an interesting name. What, Ragnarok or the bow? No, Bias was the en enemy's name. Oh, oh, those big things have gone to sleep on us. That'll make moving around a lot easier. A dead end? Or perhaps... No, if we worry about every little detail, we won't get anywhere. <laughs> you! That is the leader of those who slither in the dark. We must go after him with all of our might. Attack with Swarm. Help. That's fast. No mm -hmm. time to slow down. That horse did quite the prance. Yeah. So now you're storming all the characters to the front yep. gate. We'll fight Kylon or Chilon. And then hopefully the last chapter is freaking fast. Watch and learn. Is the last chapter the after the war, or no, is it? No, like the last chapter is on the other side of this. Mm -hmm. I could I could be wrong, but there's there's two chapters, the Sunless City or the Lightless City or whatever, and then. One other. I just don't know how far I can last after this battle. Yeah. But where I'm at. Oh, come on. Because no matter how much I nibble or eat, I'm just. My stomach is unsatisfied. And my. Endurance is waning. Well, let's see what let's see what it looks like on the other side of this. <laughs> Make a difference. Okay, screw it. Raphael. Eat the snot out of this guy. Woohoo, go Raphael! Thank you, Raphael. Out of here, Buster Show. Okay. So training bow, get that out of here. But yeah, we we might just want to finish this up after this battle. I can even suspend it. Suspend? Uh. No, we don't need to suspend this battle. 
Well, if it immediately chucks me into another battle without time to save. Mm. Should be fine, though. You would think that they give you time so to save. Yeah. Well, it would absolutely let me save for the beginning of the next battle. Okay. I like how there's one dude just like... Bumping around in here. Okay, door. Ah, there's the villain. Up, oh, Nemesis. You're just gonna kill him outright? Yup. What? About everyone fight else the in other there? people? I mean, I could. Give me a second. I no, don't need to do that. Okay, training gauntlets. Let's, yeah, training gauntlets are fine. No I'll just go for the extra EXP the here. Leave them well. You're incredible. It's like she won't be able to go upstairs or past him. But you're blocking everything in there. You lost that one. Yeah, so we're just going to get a couple of kills here. Not going to be able to get everybody, but that's, that's fine. Orders? Anyway. Attack. Fail not straight to the nemesis. <laughs> ha! It is laughable that base animals such as you would bear fangs at the likes of us. I may be a base animal, but I have strong allies. Do you think you can beat Teach and the Sword of the Creator? The Sword of the Creator. The blade given to Nemesis. Who do you really think is superior? There's a big difference between the living and the dead. The fate of the future lies in the hands of the living. Oop. <laughs> More card. Well, now he can be counted among the dead. button it can't be for all the gardens let there be light oh no they're launching missiles all across the surface or just here <laughs> Garthens. Huh? <laughs> 